welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here with another review video. Um, I'm super excited to do my first one. It seems like it did well and you guys like to see what these products are really like. So I am super, super excited to do another one. I don't have a ton, I've got quite a few, not a ton, ton to review, but we are going to review some of my purchases from the Dollar Tree. Um, oh, okay. So I had a lot of, I keep forgetting to touch on a lot of things. So my birthday was phenomenal. Friday, I went to visit mom. Um, her, my dad, myself, and my nephew went to dinner. It was fantastic. It was such a good time. Saturday, I went to Crumble Cookie for the first time ever with my daughter during the morning. And I don't know if you guys have a crumble cookie or if you've ever been to a crumble cookie. <sighs> okay. We could touch on that. So we'll do a review quick on crumble cookie <laughs> from our, our first experience. First of all, they have what they call like regular size cookies and then they have minis. So we didn't know, we've never been there before. So we just shopped online and made an order. There was... 12 no six different flavors I guess how they do it is weekly what flavors of cookies they have so my daughter wanted me to go because my obsession is peanut butter M&Ms and they had peanut butter M&M cookies first of all their cookies are they're ginormous they're huge huge cookies the box they come in is super gorgeous um, they are pricey on the other hand so for 12 cookies, I think we got, it was, with tip, it was like almost $51. So they are on the pricey side. Other than that, we got one of each that they had and then double some of the other ones. Um, some we were fans of, some not so much. They are huge, that's number one. So I think if you're trying crumble cookie for the first time, maybe go with their minis. Their minis are like the size of a regular cookie. Phenomenal. The peanut butter M&M one was to die for. It was absolutely delicious and I loved it. And then, well in that, so we went like early afternoon. I had breakfast with my sister Saturday morning. I had dinner with my son Saturday night. I think I've gained 10 pounds over the last weekend, but it's totally okay because it was completely worth it. When we got home for dinner, uh, my daughter, my sister was here and the baby and Evan and we had cupcakes and they sang me happy birthday and it was absolutely beautiful. So I did have a fantastic birthday. Thank you for all the birthday wishes and thank you for asking me about it. It was a phenomenal weekend and it was great. The next thing that I just want to bring up is my son Evan started a podcast. Um, it is him and with some of his friends. So like every week he has somebody there chit chatting with him. I am going to post the link to his podcast underneath this video if anybody is interested in checking that out. They are a bunch of 25, 24 year old men. They kind of just talk about whatever is on their mind. Um, PSA, I may or may not agree with everything they talk about. I mean, <laughs> I can't control what a bunch of 20 something year old men talk about, but I have watched his first couple of episodes and he does crack me up at a couple of uh, a couple of them. They are funny. They have good senses of humor. They are very down to earth guys. And again, if you're interested or have nieces, nephews, granddaughters, grandsons, sons, daughters, whomever are interested in watching podcasts, please do him a favor and go check him out. Okay. So I will again, post the link to his podcast underneath this video. Now, with all of that being said, I don't think I'm missing anything else except for Avery. I know I am sucking on updates of Avery. I My life goes so fast. Avery is amazing. And I'm going to hop right into this, I swear. But Avery is amazing. She is almost seven months old. She's about six months, three weeks old. She is so super beautiful, so smart. Okay, she has already started crawling. She has been crawling since right before she turned six months old. She cruises all over this house. 
So she's a crawler. She sits up on her own. She is pulling herself up to stand already. She does say mama. She says dada. And she says baba. We're not exactly sure what baba is. It's not baba. But she says baba. And when I say it to her, she smiles and laughs. So I don't know what it is to her. But she loves it. She's amazing, guys. And she's getting so big. And she's so beautiful. And we're going to take her for her first professional pictures. Because all the pictures that you guys do see of her, my daughter and I take. But there was like a special going on. So we are taking her on the 31st to get her first professional pictures done. So I will definitely be posting them as soon as we have them. She is amazing. I just absolutely love her to pieces. My eyes tear up when I talk about her. She's perfect. And that's all I can say. <laughs> I'll start crying like a boss, right? But she's perfect. She really is. She's doing great. She's healthy. She's wonderful. And she's gorgeous and so smart. And that's all I can say about her. So I think I've touched on everything. Look at me. I'm a mess. I think I touched on everything everybody's been asking, I hope. Um, don't feel bad for asking. It does slip my mind sometimes and I apologize, but when I remember, I will address it. So hopping in here, I'm going to start with the Twist products. I, you know, I got a couple of them. I was very um, excited because of the shape of the bottle. I know I've said it once, I probably said it 10 times, Packaging is huge to me. If it looks cool in a package, I'm going to buy it. So I loved how these looked. So we have the shampoo here and the conditioner here. They do have these nice nifty little pumps on them. They are a nice size. I'll give you that. They are 13 and 16. So 13 fluid ounces for the shampoo, 16 fluid ounces for the conditioner. I remember touching on that because most of the time, shampoo and conditioner bottles are the exact same size, and you tend to run out of the conditioner prior to the shampoo. So I'm glad that they made theirs a little bit bigger. As far as my experience goes, I'm not a fan. I wanted to be, because of the curly hair, I wanted to be a fan. Um, I used it quite often, just so I can give like my own honest, real review. I, I don't like it. Um, <laughs> after I shower or wash my hair, when I try to brush through it, it is stiff. My hair feels stiff, kind of on the rougher side. It's not, you know, a lot of the times when you use conditioner, you can go right through your hair with the comb. It feels the softest it ever does after you are done shampooing and conditioning. I don't have that experience with these, to be very honest. That's just my, I don't want anybody to get offended if you do love this. It's just my experience, okay? So as far as using these, I don't, I'm not gonna keep using them. Um, I just don't like how it feels in my hair. It does give it like a rough mm, feeling. Even when I have used this and straightened my hair, my hair has like a rough feeling to it. It is not silky, it's smooth. It's just, it's just not it, okay? Um, again, different hair types, different hair textures, things work differently for it. This is just my experience, and to be honest, just not a huge fan of those. I also got the Curl Multi-Use Miracle Oil. It is Protect, Hydrate, and Shine. This is what the bottle looks like. Again, the bottle is super cool. It is 2.5 fluid ounces. I can't say yay or nay. I have used it multiple times. Um, it says ultimate moisture for curls. I don't know if it's because, I wanted to use the products together. You know what I mean? So I don't know if it's because of how my hair just initially from the bat felt after shampooing and conditioning where it had like that rough kind of mm, feeling to it that I don't feel like this did anything, to be honest. Um, I did use it every time that I used the shampoo and conditioner. So maybe on its own, I'll have to try that and then I'll get back to you. Um, maybe on its own it works better because if I use maybe a different shampoo and conditioner that my hair feels nice with and I use this, then maybe we have a better review for this. But if we go off of using it with the twist 
shampoo and conditioner I don't feel like it does much my hair still felt very rough and kind of icky so unfortunately the twist products are just a no-go for me you know so there's that I also got the be pure hair serum it's smooth dry damaged hair again I'm just not a hundred percent impressed with these um I'm just not I don't <laughs> it sucks I don't feel like this is a very good review video but it just didn't seem to do much um I and mean, maybe I'm expecting too much I don't know um, I do also get products from Lange, which are a little bit on the pricey side. They seem to work wonderfully for my hair. So maybe trying to find a generic knockoff version isn't the best thing for my hair because my hair is damaged, okay? I use a lot of hairspray in my hair. My hair is curly. I dye it. I straighten it. I, I do all kinds of things to it. So. Maybe for somebody with a little bit healthier hair, these products would work better for you than they do for me. So again, I mean, it was okay, but it didn't do anything that I could rave about, if that makes sense, right? And then the same with the Split End Fixer by Be Pure. It helps repair damaged hair. See, this I feel like I'm giving an unfair review. Again, I don't feel like it did much of anything. I did use this for about a month. Um, I want to give it time, obviously, and that's the problem. It does ooh, have a nice little pump on it, just like the shampoo and conditioner and stuff does. They are different brands, but just wanted to show you that. That's super cute. Love the color purple. And I feel like maybe this is stuff like the bottles, like down to here now. So that's not bad. 30 days. I have about a half a bottle left kind of what it feels like and maybe I need to use the entire bottle I didn't want to wait that long to give the review only because we all know once you see it and you try to go back for it it's gone you know so some stores are just getting them some stores already had them so it's kind of a touchy thing there um, again my hair is so damaged that I think it might take a miracle I don't know um, I do use like deep conditioners I do use oil treatments and things like that to try to help it so maybe I need to stick on that end of trying to fix dead ends and split now split ends and so on and so forth other than these but I did give it a shot again unfortunately I just can't tell you that I think that it did anything um, fantastic it didn't really fix it I know it says fixer it may have prevented me from getting more split ends I mean as you know I haven't really been straightening my hair in the summer because it just it doesn't work I straighten my hair I frizz I curl I sweat it's a no-go right so I was hoping to see like a little bit of difference since I haven't been running a straightener through my hair or anything like that but it may have prevented me from getting more split ends so I won't say that it didn't I'm just going to say I, do, I don't feel as if it fixed my split ends. Okay, fair enough. Now, these two items, oh my goodness. So I have the matte finish setting spray. This is what it looks like. This is my second bottle of this. I always use a setting spray after doing my makeup. This is a one fluid ounce bottle. It does last quite a while. I want to say my first bottle lasted me over a month. So I do my makeup, I take this and I spray it, well, all over like so. And you just let that dry. And once that dries, it locks your makeup into place. What I have noticed with this being a matte finish, I am super happy to say that it keeps the shine away, it keeps the oil away, it keeps my makeup right where it was when I put it on in the morning. So I am a huge fan of this. And I have spent like, um, not a lot of money. To me, I mean, what's a lot of money to me is not a lot of money to you, okay? <laughs> but when I'm spending like $6 on a little setting spray, 
and it does exactly what the dollar twenty-five stuff from the Dollar Tree does. I am no longer getting that five, six dollar bottle of setting spray. I am going to hope and pray that I can continue to find this there because if you do your makeup and you want it to stay all day, you want to lock that in your eyeshadow, your foundation. This one, and I'm going to show you the other one that I liked, are definitely win wins. This again has a matte finish, so you're not going to be shiny or oily but it does work just as well as your name brand stuff. This one is the Finishing Spray by Ayani, and it's a glow spray, so you have to shake well before you. So I shook that. Do you see that shine in there? I'm gonna shake it off camera again. You see how that is floating around in there? So if you do want a nice shimmer to your makeup, let's see if we can get this on my arm and if you can see this. Oh, let's get up. Do you see that when I turn my arm here? You see that shimmer? Absolutely gorgeous. So if you are looking for, I'll just spray this on. I always keep my mouth and my eyes closed. If you are looking for a nice, beautiful shimmer, it is not glittery. It just makes it look like you're glowing. You know what I mean? Like your skin just has like this beautiful glow to it again. It is not sticky, it is lightweight, and it locks in your, mo your moisture. It locks in your makeup from beginning of day till end of day. This is also my second bottle of this one. So if you see it, I'm giving that one two thumbs up. I absolutely love it. Now my last thing to review, I don't feel like I can give a fair review and I'm going to have to try to find another bottle, but this is the Personal Care Sea Salt Hair Spritz. You guys know I told you, this is Beach Beautiful Style, it is jasmine and organic coconut, it is a 6.7 fluid ounce bottle. <sighs> I talk too much um, <laughs> but with this is when I use a curling wand or things like that to curl my hair so I have like the bigger bouncier curls versus the tight little curls that I am blessed with I use a sea salt spray and I spray it on and I scrunch it up and it does give like a beautiful bit at the beach all day type of curl to your hair unfortunately this bottle and I'm hoping they're not all like that I don't know if you can see this. When I spray this, it shoots out like a rocket. It doesn't have like a fine mist to it or anything. Like it comes flying out of there like, like a bullet, okay? I'm just gonna wipe this on my pants. Um, so unfortunately, it does smell good, but unfortunately I can't really say as of right now is a for me because I was super excited to try this went to spray it on my hair and had soaking wet pieces because it came shooting out of there so I need a different nozzle maybe now that I'm talking makes I wonder if I can pop this nozzle off and try it on here no it just comes flying out of there like crazy okay so I'm going to um look for this again in hopes that I'm gonna take the lid off at the store and spray it um, that it doesn't come shooting out like that because you can't you can't do anything with that I need like you know like when you spray hairspray you spray things like that it comes out in a fine mist you need that to get into the hair scrunch it up and get your beach curls this leaves soaking wet spotches all over the place and it didn't work for me. But other than that, we're gonna give it another shot though because I'm super excited over it. But if it shoots like that, that whole thing, then that's just how they make their bottles and that's just gonna have to be an absolute no-go for me. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, bye now.